A big Super Lotto jackpot will be up for grabs Wednesday because nobody matched all the winning numbers in last night's drawing. Here they are in case you nailed one of the smaller prizes like some people we know. 16, 20, 28, 31, 41 with mega number 19. The jackpot, 46 million bucks. For Wednesday, it's expected to be $57 million. Now, Joe said he only had one I hate one to correct number. you, but I, that, it wasn't the mega number, so I didn't even win anything. No, oh, okay. Nothing. Let me take back my, what I just said. My $2, <laughs> and normally I just do one. It has to be $40 million or more for me to even get involved, usually. Oh, yeah, you know, of course. I don't want the small well, change. Right. 10, 20, 30 million. That's not. just not, that's not worth my while. But, I do, I do. Well, okay. Forty. <laughs> Your local news is next. Coming up, terrifying moments for homeowners. A brush fire threatens a neighborhood in the North County. Deputies open fire, killing a man who allegedly ran at them with a knife. U.S. troops arrest a man suspected of masterminding a deadly bombing as President Bush calls on the nation to support the continued fight against Iraq. The news at 11 is coming up next. NBC 739 News at 11, weekend edition. It will take time and require sacrifice. Yet we will do what is necessary. We will spend what is necessary to achieve this essential victory in the war on terror. The president addresses the nation telling Americans there is no turning back in Iraq. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Mills. And I'm Kathy. U.S. is still working to bring stability to Afghanistan. Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld is touring the country. He made a visit to a city in the eastern region where 80 American troops are stationed. They've been fighting Taliban guerrillas and helping with reconstruction projects in the area. Four Americans have died in combat there in the last month. Rumsfeld said there are still concerns about security at Afghanistan's borders and terrorists slipping into that country. Lots of controversy about the almost $4 million Cruz Bustamante received from unions and Native American tribes. Bustamante had planned to use a financial loophole to put that money toward last year's run for lieutenant governor. Critics said it was wrong and threatened to sue, so Bustamante is giving that money to help fight Proposition 54. That's a ballot measure limiting the collection of most race-based data. Prop 54's biggest supporter doesn't think much of Bustamante's generous gift to the opposition. I think if it's illegal for him to take... An aide says Bustamante wants to avoid a battle over the donation. Meanwhile, a presidential contender announced he would not be running for U.S. Senate. North Carolina Senator John Edwards says he will focus his efforts on winning the Democratic presidential nomination. According to a state party official, the Democratic Party chairperson received a letter from Edwards today announcing his decision. Edwards is expected to formally announce his candidacy next week. A brush fire threatened homes in Poway today and burns 15 acres. The fire was spotted late this afternoon. There are no injuries. Poway Fire Chief says firefighters will be on the scene all night long, be mopping up and looking for hot spots. They don't know what caused the fire. Cooler temperatures are helping firefighters slow a brush fire in East Los Angeles. But the potential for danger has hundreds of people near Highland spending yet another night away from home. The evacuation remaining in effect likely through tomorrow. The fire in the San Bernardino National Forest has burned more than 1,300 acres. Firefighters estimate it is about 30 percent contained. Israeli helicopters were on the attack in Gaza tonight. They fired two missiles at the home of a Hamas militant. Eleven people were wounded. There's no word yet on whether anyone was killed. It's unclear if the Israelis hit the person they were after. Israel has carried out a series of strikes on Hamas members the last few weeks. Yasser Arafat says he wants the Palestinian parliament speaker to become the new prime minister. Ahmad Kuria is the choice. He's also known as Abu Allah. He was one of the chief architects of the Oslo Accords between Israel and the Palestinian Liberation Organization. Analysts say he's a moderate. He'll most likely be accepted by both Israel and the U.S. The move comes a day after Mahmoud Abbas stepped down. U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell says any Palestinian prime minister must crack down on militant groups. Thursday is, of course, the anniversary of the September 11th attacks. Memorials around the country are already getting underway. A memorial walk in Dallas today featured 3,000 flags, each flag representing one confirmed victim of the terrorist attacks. The participants also walked 3,000 meters. Money raised from the event benefits Texas firefighters. A totem pole carved by Native Americans in Washington State was presented to the city of Shanksville, Pennsylvania today. It honors those who died on board Flight 93. A similar pole sits in New York's Sterling Forest to honor the World Trade Center victims. The Lumi tribe also plans to deliver two totems and an arch to the Pentagon. 
Organizers of Street Scene say some roads in the East Village will be closed until mid-afternoon tomorrow. Well, congratulations to all those athletes who gave it a try. I know if someone told me one mile or three mile. Oh, man, that's not a <laughs> choice. choice easy I went for a walk today. <laughs> one mile or three mile? Back around the block one at halftime of the Charger. I think that is pure class. Our triple threat play of the week. Mm -hmm. Hats off to Tom Kraft's team. They did a terrific job. And that quarterback whose name I can't pronounce. Matt Dugalecki. Boy, boy, he was good. Played, played well under pressure. He sure you're did. right. That was a classy way to end it all. You're right. It was. Hey, George Michael's Sports Machine, coming up next. Have a good night.